Terra Preta. Imagine an agricultural system so efficient that it has the power to regenerate itself. This is the mystery of Terra Preta, a rich, dark soil discovered in the Amazon basin. Created 2,500 years ago by an advanced Amazonian civilization lost to time, this black earth holds an ecological secret we are only just beginning to understand. The Amazon basin, full of verdant vegetation, conceals an intriguing paradox beneath its lush exterior. Despite the vibrant life on the surface, the underlying soil presents a daunting environment for growth due to relentless rainfall that leaches away essential nutrients. Yet Terra Preta teems with life, including a diverse blend of microorganisms and organic materials like plant matter, manure, animal bones, and pottery shards. The soil's key ingredient is charcoal, or biochar, intentionally buried by these ancient societies to improve the soil's fertility and productivity. Not only does it lend the soil its unique color, but it also helps retain minerals and nutrients effectively over millennia. Believed to be self-sustaining, Terra Preta regenerates itself at a rate of one centimeter per year at depths up to two meters. Remarkably, this soil boasts three times more phosphorus and a staggering nine times more nitrogen than unamended soil in the Amazon basin. Through the large-scale use of this soil in a process known as terraforming, the ancient Amazonians demonstrated an intricate understanding of soil management. This knowledge allowed them to farm in areas previously seen as agriculturally impractical. By harnessing the power of Terra Preta, they reshaped the landscape on a massive scale, paving the way for enormous earthworks, complex road networks, and even cities. We now know these advanced societies were far more populous and sophisticated than previously thought. The extent of Terra Preta's use by the pre-Columbian Amazonians was breathtakingly vast. Covering an estimated 10% of the Amazon basin, it formed an agricultural network spanning over 150 million hectares. This dark earth remains productive even today. Despite knowing its key components, recreating the self-regenerating mechanism of Terra Preta has proven a challenge for modern science. Its unique microbial community, a vital factor in its fertility, is complex and difficult to replicate. Additionally, the role of biochar, while acknowledged, is not fully understood. Current biochar studies show promising results, but they fall short of fully replicating Terra Preta's self-sustaining and long-lasting properties. The Iron Pillar of Delhi, Rust-Free Iron. Standing 24 feet tall with a 16-inch diameter, the Iron Pillar of Delhi weighs more than six tons and has occupied its current position for around 1,000 years. However, it was originally built in the 5th century, when metalwork was relatively primitive, and the qualities of different metals and alloys were largely unknown. Remarkably, or according to some miraculously, the Iron Pillar has proven itself to be resistant to rust, distinguishing it from all comparable metalwork of its time. The Pillar, which has achieved a sacred level of renown and has been a protected UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1993, is decorated with various inscriptions, the oldest of which was made by Chandragupta II, who commissioned it during his 40-year reign in India, which began in the 4th century. It remains unclear when or why the pillar was relocated to Delhi from its original position, and where exactly that may have been, but it's likely that the move happened sometime in the 12th or 13th centuries. Its Sanskrit inscriptions, which have been well preserved due to the pillar's rust-resistant properties, provide insight into an ancient world where others have been eroded by time. Its resistance to corrosion has drawn the attention of archaeologists and scientists from around the world, and has been called, quote, a testimony to the high level of skill achieved by the ancient Indian ironsmiths in the extraction and processing of iron. Indian scientific analysis of the pillar attributes its rust resistance to the high quality of workmanship and materials used, including a high phosphorus content in the iron, which reacts with the iron and air to form a protective layer on the surface. Other analyses claim that environmental factors have played a significant part, namely the lack of humidity. Believed to have been forge welded from 98% wrought iron, making it exceptionally pure for the 5th century, the rust-free iron pillar of Delhi continues to stand strong and untouched by the ravages of time. Mayan Zeolite Filtration System The Mayan civilization is known to have exceptionally advanced construction methods, but elements of this, which are often overlooked, include water transportation, storage, and filtration systems that were highly complex and far ahead of their time. 
A prime example of this Mayan ingenuity is the Corriental Reservoir filtration system, built over 2,000 years ago in the ancient city of Tikal in northern Guatemala. It is believed to have been the first of its kind anywhere in the world. The area suffered long dry seasons, rendering it near uninhabitable and making a ready supply of clean water an absolute necessity. Simply constructing reservoirs worked to capture water, but they were susceptible to dangerous contamination from fecal matter, toxic algae, and heavy metals such as mercury seeping in from the rocks and the earth. However, thanks to the Corriental Reservoir, Tikal flourished and thrived for more than 1,000 years. The city peaked around the year 700, at which time it's believed to have been home to some 45,000 people. The key materials for this ancient water treatment were crystalline quartz and zeolite, a compound of silicon and aluminum. The materials worked together as a molecular sieve, adept at eliminating contaminants. Traces of zeolite have been found at Tikal, even though it is not naturally available in the immediate area, demonstrating that the Mayan people deliberately transported it to the city and incorporated it into their water supply. Historians are still trying to find out exactly how they actually applied zeolite to their water system, but it is believed that the supply of water may have been passed through a sort of fabric screen woven from reeds and enriched with zeolite sands. We do not know, and we may never know, exactly how a society as early as the Mayans came to understand filtration, which occurs on a level too small for the human eye to perceive. One archaeological geologist from the University of Cincinnati even said, quote, When it comes to purifying water, the Maya were millennia ahead. To this day, zeolite is still used in the filtration of commercial bottled water, wine, and many other beverages. Flexible glass. 2,000 years ago, during the reign of Tiberius Caesar, a glassmaker was said to have made a discovery so profound it threatened the very foundation of the Roman Empire's economy. His invention? Vitrium flexible, a flexible glass, a material so miraculous, so unusual, it defied the conventional understanding of what glass could be. Referred to in two major historical texts, Pliny the Elder's Natural History and the Satyricon, written evidence suggests that one particularly skilled glassmaker managed to create a flexible version, utilizing secret methods that had been developed, refined, and passed down over millennia. It is said that the craftsman was invited to show his work to Caesar and demonstrated his unbreakable cups by throwing them and battering them out of shape with a hammer only for them to regain their shape moments later. According to one version of the story, after showing his work to the emperor, the glassmaker's workshop was shut down in order to prevent the depreciation and devaluation of precious metals like gold. It was feared that if such an incredibly valuable and useful new material reached the people, it might inadvertently bring the great Roman economy to its knees. According to an alternative version of the story, the glassmaker was asked if anyone else knew how to produce flexible glass. When he replied no, the glassmaker was executed on the spot, ensuring that his secret methods perished with him. The authenticity of this story is debated, but the development of modern flexible glass materials, such as fiber optics and foldable smartphone screens, has given some plausibility to the possible existence of this ancient invention. Mithridate Humanity's quest for health and wellness has sparked remarkable innovations throughout history, even when medical knowledge was scarce. Some of these ancient remedies and elixirs have been lauded for their purported benefits, transcending generations and shaping history. Take, for instance, a period stretching from the Middle Ages to the Renaissance. Amid the rampant diseases and widespread poisonings, a mysterious remedy known as Mithridite emerged. This sought-after concoction promised a cure for various ailments, making it a priceless commodity, especially for the elite of that era, who were often engaged in deadly power struggles. Mithridate was a veritable witch's brew, featuring up to 65 different ingredients, according to some sources. The primary aim of this medieval cocktail was to build resistance to the prevalent poisonings, a favored method of execution amongst the era's more ambitious ruling class. It was named after the first century ruler Mithridates from the Kingdom of Pontus, now known as modern-day Turkey. Legend has it that Mithridates' mother orchestrated the poisoning of his father, setting off a bloody struggle for the throne with his brother. Fearful of falling victim to a similar fate, his paranoia led him to the creation of Mithridate. After narrowly escaping an alleged assassination attempt, Mithridates sought refuge in the wilderness for seven years. During this self-imposed exile, he routinely ingested non-lethal doses of natural toxins to build immunity. 
It was this rugged survival strategy that inspired the formulation of Mithridate. Even today, several recipes for Mithridate exist. They feature an eclectic mix of plants, herbs, and rare botanical elements intended to be ground and combined with honey for ingestion or blended into wine as an antidote to poison. However, the original recipe remains lost to time. These days, Mithridate is considered semi-mythical, with many historical figures claiming to have benefited from its healing powers, including Oliver Cromwell, whose acne was apparently cured by it. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of the past? Subscribe now to Dark Five's brand new Ancient Mysteries channel and embark on a journey to uncover the most enigmatic and awe-inspiring mysteries of ancient times. Leave a comment if there are any ancient mysteries you want us to explore in upcoming videos.